going to the seesaw, gonna see a lot of ghosties. We're going to the seesaw, gonna see a lot of ghosts. <laughs> kind of a rendition of that song, if you guys know what band that one is. All right, so starting it off, first, first off, what we're going to be using is brush we're going with. We're going with my Rich Man Shaving Dragon's Fury 26 millimeter S2 Innovator. Not really cool. I thought it matched the label of this soap and stuff pretty good. So I'm going to be doing it in the I like a bit shaving mug. Some warm water in there. Do, do, do. <laughs> so razor we're going to be using today. We're going with my Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Ascension Select razor with the mystical mustard tip. Not magical mystery tour. And when I was doing the live with Tobin, I guess I have the older version. I guess the newer version, like this part right here is like smaller. It doesn't affect the shave or anything, but it, yeah, I got the older version, I guess. I didn't know that. So yeah, I'll get you the bubbles in the thing. DE Blade we're gonna be going with. So we got four days worth of growth. Gonna be going with the Lord Cools. I think it matches well too. Matches well too, matches the label. Uh, yeah, just woke up Saturday. What time is it? 11.54. Well, I've been up for a little bit, but yeah. How y'all doing today? Today's Saturday. It's supposed to rain here yesterday, but it didn't. It's all just cloudy now. Our temperatures are finally starting to go down, which I'm really glad about. Like high 80s. Ugh, no more triple digits. And there. Do, 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 do. That band wasn't around very long. Oh, all right. Yeah, soap we're going to be going with. This used to be like a Halloween exclusive only. Now this one is, um, the heck is that? Now this one actually is all year round. So it, you can pick it up any time of the year now. CK6 Hotel Cecil. Yes. High strangeness artesian shave soap. Very nice scent. Now, I don't know if anybody else's, well, if they still do this, but this used to, this is in there. I think they still do this in there. From shadowy shapes, guests throw themselves from our fire escapes. Oh, to, to get away from shadowy shapes, guests throw themselves from our fire escapes. From our fire, Hotel Cecil, enjoy your stay. Pop goes the Cecil. Yeah, so... That's a soap we're going with, and the scent profile is talc, cardamom, vanilla, tonka bean, kephalus, sandalwood, cedar, nutmeg, black pepper, oak wood, oak moss, an homage to Burma Shave, uh, and the Cecil Hotel. Warm, powdery, clean, spicy, masculine, and nostalgic. Yes, it's powdery, it's warm, it, it is spicy. It almost has that, um, the sandalwood in it, has that scent, supreme sandalwood science vibe to it. So, yes, if you do like powdery scents, though, because it's not all just powdery, and the spice bl bl the spice and the powder blend together nicely. But I know a lot of people don't like powdery forward, and those people's wives don't like it either. So just keep that in mind. So if it might be for you, it might not be for you. Also, the Hotel Cecil, Cecil Hotel, is now called Stay on Main Hotel. They changed the name, still got the still got the same spooky stuff inside, no matter what the heck you call it, a building. And the beginning, have you guys seen the beginning, that red on the left? That was illegally, unlawfully whitewashed. That was like a national monument or California monument. So someone went up there, took it off. They put other type of like stuff on there now, other type of like advertisements and stuff. So yeah, not good California. You guys screwed up on that. <laughs> so let me get this loaded up and I put it in a bowl and I'll be right back. <coughs> okay, I'm back with the fridge. Wait, is that face? Ooh, with the fridge. How y'all doing today? Saturday. Saturday. Today is day up north, Idaho. PA meant to leave appreciate you. Doug and a few others in the shave community up there in Idaho right now. Midwest wet shavers? No. Northwest. Northwest wet shavers. Yeah. Doug revealed some new stuff, new razors he's going to come out with. That are coming soon. This one called like the architect and then... Top of my head, I'll put it right here. I forgot what the other one, other new one's called he's got. 
Yeah. Quantum. That's what it is. Like quantum leap, I guess. Yeah. So they look pretty cool. The one is like Bakelite. I think Architect one is like Bakelite. Um, and it's the top cap is like brass gold plated. So it looks pretty cool. And the quantum one looks pretty awesome too. It's like an orange uh, comb on it and stuff. So yeah. Yeah. All right. Get to this. Oh, yeah. Nice scent. Like I said, it, it is powdery. It is spicy. So that balances it out. I know a lot of gents, ladies and gents, don't like powdery type scents, but I like this one. If you like a powdery type scent, then you'll like it. If you don't like powdery type scents, or your lady don't like no powdery type scents, then you're not gonna like it. I'm just telling you. <laughs> you're been forewarned. But yes, this used to be a seasonal Halloween one. Not Christmas yet. <laughs> and it's now yearly. <coughs> Go the sea, so if you guys read the book, you know what that part is, right? Like Doug said, right in that cod piece. <laughs> cool book. Fresco's a cool book, too. band this morning it broke off there because like the sharp edges and stuff when you wet it so i don't have a rubber band on my uh, allen block anymore but oh well fingers add them on my fingers pass number one here we go drippy water <laughs> four days growth yeah Gone. Gone, gone, gone. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. So have any of you all tried this one yet? And do you like it? I like this one. I like the story behind it. Very creative. Really cool. The book's cool too. So uh, yeah. I really like these DE blades. These Lord Cools work really well for me. I tried them in a few razors. Yeah, they do, they huh, they get me. Oh yeah, not just a spider bite. Some reason they need to get exterminator out to the house. I wake up almost every other day and I got a spider bite on my damn hand. So. Think I need to call the exterminator and get rid of the spideys. Ooh, all right. Yeah, this is nice so far. Yeah, very good. Very good. Very nice. Put it in us, yes. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <clears throat> so Halloween's coming up. You guys got any plans? All y'all with like kids and stuff? I gotta work, but I don't mind. I'm 43 years old, I don't go trick-or-treating anymore. <laughs> Although I know there is like a, like, like my local mall here. They do, the guy who drove by there starting to set up their uh, um, haunted house stuff and the thumbnail, the background, the bricks that I actually used, <laughs> I actually used the, the mall. 
was trying to find a cool, cool new spot to do a thumbnail. And I'm like, man, I want to do like bricks. I thought about doing like the red brick like Tobin did in his, uh, on his Instagram. But man, I don't want to copy him. So yeah, those bricks are actually the Macy's. That wall's like 40 or 50 feet tall. So yeah, I drove to the mall. There's nobody there. Careful, Chris. Feather it, dude. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, I went to the mall. Drove around the whole mall, where I live and stuff. And I just, I'm trying to find a cool spot to do a cool thumbnail. I found that. There's like gravel on the ground. It's probably been there since the mall's been open back in the 90s. Late 80s, early 90s. Yeah, I think it was Macy's. Not Dillard, just Macy's. And yeah, that was like where their loading dock is. Like there was a like semi-truck and stuff. So. I'm just trying to find another, trying to find a cool place to do a thumbnail. So that's a backstory on that. I know you'll get to see the whole wall, but that wall right there is like the Macy's by my wall by where I live, so, yeah. I remember when that mall was nothing. There was dirt, field. We're talking about Superstition Springs Mall, if you guys are familiar with Arizona. Just so you know what mall it is. And yeah, I remember all that it used to be all dirt. The Target wasn't there and everything was gone. The freeway ended right there. And then when I was in like sixth grade, Back in the late 80s, early 90s, elementary school, they started building that mall. And it's been there ever since. Many, many memories of that mall. I still go in there sometimes, though. Go into, like, the Zoomies, check out their G-Shock watches and stuff. There's the van store in there, check out shoes. That's where I got my SpongeBob shoes from. Yeah. Oof. All right. <laughs> the damn good shave. Even with my problem area, I went against it. <laughs> Rebellious against it. Very good. Very close. Sticky smooth. No weepers. Oh, man. That's a good shave. That's a good, good shave. All right. Clean up and I'll bring our back. <coughs> What's your name? Who's your daddy? Beware, is he rich like me? <laughs> I like the Eminem version that he did. He sampled that one. It's called uh, Rhyme or Reason. What's your name, Marshall? Who's your daddy? I don't have one. My mother reproduced like a Komodo dragon and had me on the back of a motorcycle with a loaded handgun. Something, something, something. Yeah, I know that song. But anyway, yeah. How was the shave, dude? Yeah. Very close, smooth, sticky, smooth. It's starting to rain now, finally. Yeah. Oh. Who needs to hear the thunder? No. Problem area, nothing, nothing. Damn good shave. So, PA Allen Block. Michelangelo with a paint gun. I'm docile and vain, could probably find a way to complain about a hot Picasso painting. <laughs> oh, it's a bit sharp. Yeah, because it had the rubber band on there. And then when you wet it, the rubber band stays, but the alum shrinks. So it starts getting like sharp edge. Yeah, that's probably the edge that cut my rubber band. Yeah, so I'm just gotta hold on, Chris. Don't drop it. Why does he be buying a new one? Cause there's no rhyme or no reason for nothing. What you drinking? Simply limeade with a chopped up serrano pepper. This has been marinated for about 24 hours. <sighs> really good though, if you like spicy stuff, try it. Don't put a bunch of jalapenos in there, put one, or like one serrano pepper, that's what I did. Yeah, for thunder, yeah. Thundercats, oh, all right, let's go on, dude. Aftershave and clone, aftershave, aftershave and clone, Hotel Cecil, aftershave and clone, dead. <laughs> There's a non-reducer, so you notice I had this one in a while. Oh, 
Yeah, it's spicy. It's wood. It's <coughs> yeah. I get the sandalwood and the powder. It's blended really good though. It's like good old school type scent. That's what I would describe it. But yes, it is powdery. So if you don't like powder type scents, like I said, or your wife or your lady doesn't like it either, that wouldn't be the one for you. I like powdery stuff, so but not too powdery. I'm not wearing se <laughs> women's secret deodorant. <laughs> But yeah, it's got that it's got that Supreme Sandalwood Science vibe to it in the back as well. It smells good. I like it though. So, is that it? Not the shave of the day, ladies and gents. So, recap of what we used today. We used my put it a bowl. Wood color unbreakable bowl. Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements, Mentally Pre Shave Cube 2.0. I heard your sizzle. <laughs> Intergalactic base pick scooped to breath. Hotel Cecil, Aftershave, and Cologne. P.E.L. on block with a broken rubber band. Yeah, you can really see that. Look at how sharp that is. Oh, it's kind of strong. Cool. Rich Man Shaving. Rich Man Strong. 26 millimeter S2 Innovator, Dragon's Fury. Not Hoffman Outlaw. Just posted a photo on Instagram. We used Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements, Ascents and Select, Mystical Mustard Tip with a... Lord Cool First Use DE Blade. I'm really digging these blades. These are these work for me. These are good. It's cool when you find something that like it works for you. Yeah. So try these in a lot of different razors. Yeah. That one works. We loaded, soaked the brush, and then allowed to shave mug. Douglas Might and Matt Sarsic. <laughs> okay. Was that it? No. We also used Phoenix Earth Accoutrements. Hotel Cecil, now called the Stay on Main. They legally whitewashed it. Pretty sad. Still the same stuff. Still the same ghosties inside there. You can't get rid of them by changing the name. They don't know that. They're changing the name of the hotel. We're still inside and you're not evicting us. I like this one. It's powdery. It's sandalwoody. It's spicy. It's warm. Inviting. So, that's what we use today. We use <laughs> Hotel Cecil. So, that's Shave of Data Legends. So, Hope you ladies and gents have a good day, good week, good shave, more to come. If you would like to come to the Hotel Cecil, here's your key. Enjoy your stay, and see you ladies and gents soon. Bye.